Was removing the stilettos from the green M&M an act of radical queer visibility? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so the green M&M is is gay now. And is slash dating the brown M&M. Are you f***ing me? Dead ass. (laughs) Dead ass. These are big... Dead ass what? Dead ass me or dead ass... These M&M's is The M&M's are They are having gay homoerotic sex. How is that possible? How is an M&M ready for anal sex? But it's just an empty know. shell. But the booty tastes like chocolate. That's true. That's disgusting. I hate it. Okay, can I tell you something that's... What? Let's be honest. Okay. Um, when I was 20, mm. I had sex with a black man. Okay, okay. <laughs> where are we going? Continue. Okay. Um, and he made a comment about his, his penis yes. tasting like chocolate. And I was so confused after having tasted it that it didn't taste like chocolate. Yeah. Wow. Would you like to apologize for sharing that anecdote in public? Um, I would like to offer my sincerest apology for having shared that anecdote in public. Not only was it crass, vulgar, and completely racist, it was completely inappropriate. And I hope that I haven't um, sullied the, the waters of this fine television program because I'm so grateful to be here and I hope that you all have a great day. How many black chocolate penises have you tasted? Over a dozen. A dozen, 12 to be exact? A baker's dozen, maybe. 13? Yeah, 14 13 be. big black Well, they're not all big. That was another misconception. Oh my gosh. Would you like to apologize to the BBC? I would also love to apologize to the BBC World Service for uh, stating that um, with the B- Oh. Oh. Now, you once said, when I think about a straight man, I think about a dirty ass. In your opinion, what is making the ass so dirty? So there was this man, and he, he did one of the most erotic things I've ever had done to me. He said, look what you did to me. And he put my hand on his crotch, and it was a huge, huge, you know what? And then we got into the bed, and he went ass up. And as I approached, it was... It, it was so, um, it was almost evil, that scent. Pungent. You know what I mean? It was pungent, it was acrid, it was, um, it was, it was like the scent of true evil. And I so... I just, I went to town with a few baby wipes, but that didn't even scratch the surface. I don't know what is going on with straight men's ass, but it's just not, it's not something that's edible. It's not something wow. that's, um... Public service announcement, I guess straight yeah, men please gotta... wash your ass um, and shave it and then wash it a little bit more and then powder it. I get it. Yeah. You don't it makes wanna... me not want to be gay. Straight men's asses. There's Giardia in it. Ew. Giardia. Ew. I always thought that was like Erica Jane's husband's name. What's the difference? Mm. What's the difference? Mm. Hilary Duff once said famously, When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? How does this example of corporate allyship make you feel? Well, I hope it brings back the word f- Wow. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, I don't. I, okay. I literally don't know what you mean. Well, would they give me say, oh, that's so gay. I'm like, yeah, girl, he's been a f-. I think we disagree. I caramba. Choose your fighter, tits, ass, or wig. A wig. 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 Hey. Wig. Why wig? Why not wig? Long, short, curly, straight, soaking up all kinds of liquids, dry, shiny, matte. There's so, I mean. Wow, that just described my Interesting. Are you gay? Am I gay? Find out after this break.